We're not in any danger yet, but I mean. Once we get to the top of that ridge, let's okay. think about let's it, see what our options are. We hiked up like some three, four hours or something. Got to the top just at sunset. Took it in for a moment, checked out the Sea of Japan. I've always loved snowboarding when you can see water. We had the whole crew there and party lapped this just abandoned mountain. Not only do you have this crazy ocean affected lower pow, but it had the goods. I1I mission was complete success. Even though we had a big crew, we found a sweet spot for everyone to rip and not worry about crossing each other's lines. I don't think I rode over one other person's line the whole time there. Had this long hike and everybody worked up a gnarly appetite. John took us to probably one of the coolest sushi restaurants we were gonna be able to go to because us as Americans wouldn't have actually even been allowed into it had not been with somebody that was embraced by the Japanese culture and could speak 100% fluent Japanese because it was basically a hole in the wall. You couldn't even tell it was a restaurant from the street. Even John was like, oh, I'm not sure, let me check, you know, and poked his head through and was like, oh, come on, guys, you know, we're good and got treated to the most authentic core Japanese meal that I would say that we had, but it's not the case because with our Japanese friends, I mean, they treated us to so much many good meals that that was just one of many but it was a place that was cool to us because we would have never been able to go had it not been for having John with us.